I am here for your benefit. Pay attention. Just kidding. Several of you, uh, after my battery testing video, had brought up the point, and a very valid point. Hey Eric, what about checking the alternator? I'm glad you guys are paying attention. Uh, yeah, very good point. After you get done and you know you have a battery that is not good, it's a good idea to check the alternator output as well because the alternator may have been at fault the whole time. It eventually killed the battery. So to check the alternator, I have a simple test for you to perform using the exact same tester, using the exact same tester as we used to load, test the battery. Let's do this. All right. You've installed your new battery. Personally, I like to take these little sticker things off so I know when it was installed, uh, just in case uh, I can get the thing warranty. New battery's installed. We're gonna hook up our tester in the exact same way as we did before. And as you can see, I have, geez, almost 13 volts here. Now we must load the system in the same way we loaded the battery, but we don't wanna use the load tester to do it. No, no, we don't want to load test the battery while the car is running. Not the way to do this test. Instead, we're going to use all the stuff that the car uses. Every time you turn on an electrical device, such as your air conditioning, your window defogger, your windshield wipers, your headlights, your radio, especially if you got one of them big loud amps in the trunk, any of those things will put an electrical load on the system. At idle, the alternator is not spinning very fast. so. The theory is behind this test that I sort of came up with, but uh, lots of people have contributed to the stuff that's inside this head over the years, so I have them to thank in a sense. But I'm here sharing it with you, so there. Take all that stuff, load the battery up at idle, or load the alternator up at idle, and see if it can produce more than 12 volts. If you load the engine up with all those accessories, and uh, it's still producing more than 12 volts, you got a good alternator. If you can't produce more than 12 volts, the alternator's probably lost a phase or something like that and uh, needs to be replaced. Or there could be a connection issue. Never rule out connection issues with electrical problems. Just because you think of replacing a component is gonna fix it, not so much. Sometimes it's just a matter of a connection. We'll get into that in another video. We're gonna start the car, turn some stuff on, and see how much voltage it's putting out. Okay, start it up. Fan on high, make sure your AC is on, because that puts a load on it. How about some flashers? How about some windshield wipers? How about the headlights? On bright. How about the rear window defogger? Oh yeah, this one draws lots of amps. And of course, we cannot forget, it's getting so hard to turn on a stereo these days. All right. So we've turned on just about everything we can turn on. Now that all that crap is on, let's see what kind of voltage we got. Looks like right around 12 volts. It's not going under. It's right at 12. That'd be a good alternator. So you saw, with everything on in the car, at idle, worst case scenario, you're stuck in traffic in a rainstorm, uh, you got your bright lights on, you got your radio on, your rear defogger, uh, everything. It was still hovering right around 12 volts. And I should have I should have cracked the idle a little bit and shown you that it would have gone above that. But if your alternator can put out 12 volts or above at idle like that, it's good. Um, if it's just a hair under, maybe it's getting a little weak. Maybe you might want to check those connections at the battery, because believe it or not, the corrosion that happens between that battery terminal and the cable can cause a lot of electrical loss. So connections huge. I consider this test a success, but if it dropped below 12 volts, now now, uh, you probably got a problem. Here's a quick test for you to check the alternator. Anyway, you know who I am, Eric the Car Guy, and I'm here to help you. As always, you can visit me, ericthecarguy.com. Uh, you know, text or video responses below. Oh yeah, there's that thing where you have to go out and get dirty. So, stay dirty, be safe, have fun, see ya.